Hello, hello friends, it's Tanya here back with another video. So today I am trying out over 20 different versions of the path that are perfect for autumn and fall. Uh, a lot of you liked the video I made that was on like over 40 different types of the path. So I decided that given that a lot of the Northern Hemisphere folk are heading into a kind of cozier autumn season that I would do one dedicated to this little transition. So um, do like, comment and subscribe to stay tuned to my other videos. I do island tours, bee builds uh, and other videos on the path like this. Uh, the order of the video of the paths that I'm going to be trying out, I start out with with a bit of stonework that are perfect for fall, and then I transition to some spooky Halloween ones. They're super cute, and then some beautiful dirt paths that are perfect for fall, and then some kind of spooky, uh, creepier designs, and then some wild cards. So the first one I'm starting out with is this beautiful cobblestone path with these fallen maple leaves. It is so gorgeous and so detailed and just uh, perfect for this time of a game when the maple leaves are falling uh, and scattering all over your island. So this is a nine slot path but it has multiple middle tiles. Uh, here is how it looks. I think it's so so beautiful. Look at all the detail in the stonework and the leaves uh, and with the falling maple leaves in the background it's so gorgeous here I am showing you the different center tiles um, I think using at least two really helps this path come alive because it just adds a ton of variation and makes it feel really natural and organic uh, yeah, so I think these are all super super pretty. Definitely check this out if you have a more uh, kind of town feel to your island and you want more stonework compared to dirt. Alright, next up we are heading into Halloween designs. So this is a super cute dirt path that has little trick-or-treat things on it. The creator has made a ton of different types of Halloween inspired designs um, or like witchy ones. So that's like uh, Wizard of Oz obviously. Here are some cute jack-o'-lanterns and ghosts. Another variation that is um, more like trick-or-treat inspired. So do check out their creator code for other Halloween inspired designs. And look at that cute jack-o'-lantern. So just showing you this is a nine slot design, um, very economical. And here is how it looks. I think it's gorgeous. Uh, the warm rich tone makes me think of chocolate which is just perfect for trick-or-treating. Um, I think it flows really really nicely and the design work in like all the detail is really really beautiful like those cute little ghosts around and the um, candy sparkled about and little bats and jack-o'-lantern faces it's super super cute and definitely recommend for any halloween inspired design and look coco likes it what's up coco it's the perfect one for her <laughs> my spooky void bunny i love you <laughs> All right, so another Halloween pad. This one is really cool because it's in this kind of darker purple tone and it has really distinct details across it. This is like a cute little ghost. Uh, there are candies, there's jack-o'-lanterns. Um, yeah, different things sparkled around. So here is how it looks. I think the color tone is really, really cool. It kind of clashes with the yellow grass in a really pleasing way. Like if, you, if you're into color theory, it's on the opposite ends of the wheel. So I think that works really, really well. The details are really adorable and fun. I think if you have a kid core island, but you want to switch to something a bit more autumnal, this could be a really fun uh, path to go with like it just has that light-hearted child like feel all right so the next I'm trying out is actually a two for one so this is actually a pretty normal dirt path with beautiful scattered leaves that have some orange and um, warmer tones as well as this little the path insert that is a little ghost and a little Halloween pumpkin and I think these are super super cute I saw they were similar in tone so I wanted to try them out at the same time I think they're not actually the exact color match but because they don't need to sit next to each other it's kind of fine I think this is actually color matched to the Denim Mori original path and here is how it looks 
Um, this is just the path itself. Um, it has really, really cute detail on the ground and Diana's like definitely into it. Just like chilling out, staring at my flowers and this little bear umbrella. Anyways, um, I think these are really cute little berries scattered around the sides and then the leaf colors transition really nice to fall. Um, especially if you're early on in fall, you'll see even more contrast. Yeah, so and then these are how the little Halloween single tile designs look. I think they are so adorable and so festive, um, but not too over the top. Like if you have a natural island, but you just want to add a little bit of a nod to Halloween, this could be a really, really great addition. And they're just like, I think they're designed so, so well. It's just, um, yeah, really, really impressive detailed work here. Okay, now just normal dirt paths now. This is one that has really pretty orange and red leaves scattered all around. Um, it's a 11 slot design. So you have the single vertical and horizontal. Um, and here is how it looks. I think this looks great. Um, the edges aren't as smooth as some of them so it just depends on if you like what you want from your path i think this works really really well despite that and the color tones are really warm and rich and like i love the little leaves scattered around in that middle tile as well i think that's super super pretty and just goes so well with these falling orange maple leaves Okay, next up is this path that has lots of detailed design. I tried out this creator's just original path with the with the leaves in my first video, um, but this one they've added a lot of extra design detail with um, little acorns and mushrooms and orange leaves and stuff like that. And here is how it looks. It's so, so pretty. I, I think the size of the detail is really, really great because you can see it from afar, but it's not overpowering. So if you have a very natural looking island, but you want pops of color and interest, um, then this is a great option for you. And because the extra details are quite small, they don't look too repetitive even when they're next to each other, like those two little acorns. So. Yeah, definitely check this out. It's just all the autumnal vibes that I am here for. Okay, the next is this more medium tone uh, dirt path. It has, um, this is a nine slot design, but it has a separate internal design that I think is really, really cute. So I do recommend getting that as well for extra variation. The leaves are kind of, they're nice. They're in that they're green and orange and kind of warm toned so it will help you with the transition from the light green all the way to this yellow mustard grass here is how it looks i love how worn down the path looks it's just got loads of kind of um broken up bits and the dirt kind of looks like yeah it just looks like people have run across it for years and years and years here I'm showing you that alternate middle design that has those extra warm bits in it and I think that looks super super cute. You can place a really nice item up there like a mush lamp or something and that will be adorable. Oh and then while I was testing this one out Diana had a little chat with me and she gave me some fragrance tricks. sticks. What a sweetheart. Those are also excellent autumnal items. <laughs> All right, um, moving on, this is another dirt path, and this one isn't strictly for fall, but it had some really nice color tones to it, in it that I thought would work really, really well with the autumnal color grass, both the light green and then as well as the kind of yellower tone. Uh, this is a nine slot design and has like really pretty flowers scattered all around on the edges. And the creator has also made these cute uh, little flowers that do harmonize really well with the dirt path. Here is how it looks. Uh, I think the, the color tones just work so well for autumn and uh, it flows really, really nicely and has extra detail on the sides with the flowers and the scattered leaves. It pops quite nicely against this grass. Um, I think because of the really multicolored tones 
of the sparkles in the grass. This could also work really well for a more playful child kid core island. Um, and yeah, it just it would work really well with that kind of whimsy um, and nostalgia of those islands as well as just normal islands as well. Okay, moving on to darker dirt paths. This is one that I tried in my previous video. Um, this is the autumnal version that has blue flowers and orange scattered leaves. And I think it's super, super beautiful. It's actually a 15 slot design because it has the beveled edges as well as a single tile, horizontal and vertical. I didn't choose to use them because I didn't want to remove all of my other designs. But here we are, I think it's so, so pretty. It really stands out against the, the autumnal grass and the orange leaves really help link it to fall. Um, and the blue is a nice little pop of contrast as well. Okay, another darker dirt path. Now this is another one that isn't strictly for fall and autumn, but it came out recently. And I think um, when I looked at the creator's post on Twitter, they did reference fall quite a bit. So I think it works really well for this season. Uh, this is a, an 11 slot design. Uh, and I think it's really, really pretty. The little stones and flowers look almost sparkly. And I love the detail of the kind of the dirt and how it looks like, you know, like, you know, you know how like when it's been raining and then you've been stepping on the dirt and then it's got all these like cute, like interesting texture and like clumpy bits. That's what I get from this path. And I think it looks really, really natural and organic for that reason. Um, really, really cool design and works super well for the season. Okay, the next design is this black path with little green leaves on it. And so you'd think that this was maybe more for summer, spring, be given the green leaves. But like when I saw this at a distance, I almost thought it looked a bit sluggy, like the leaves. And that's not shade, that's like in a good way. And so maybe that could fit with a kind of creepier vibe of an island um, and any in any case I think the dark path works really well for a kind of spookier autumnal theme if you check want to see more black paths I, I do try out others in my first video so I've linked that down below so do check that out um, there's a ton of really beautiful black dirt paths and this is one of them hi Diana <laughs> <laughs> They're so interested in the paths this time. Okay, and I'm moving on to some mushroom paths. Now, when I think of the fall season in Animal Crossing, I think of mushrooms because of the amazing, amazing mushroom DIYs. Now, this, uh, this path is um, quite dark in tone and has these tiny, cute little mushrooms about, and it's an 11 slot design. Here's how it looks, super, super cute, really, really natural. I love the warm, rich tone of the dirt path. It feels um, very natural and it feels very warm and cozy. Uh, I think the mushroom detail is really subtle, but also you can see it at a distance. And so it just like, it, yeah, I think it's a really nice, natural way to hearken to fall. And look at how it looks with some actual mushrooms scattered on top. It just links and harmonizes really beautifully. Okay, and another mushroom path. Now I tried this one out in my first video. It's um, the one that comes in tons of variations, purple mushrooms, red mushrooms, mushrooms with pumpkins, etc. I wanted to show you again in this video because I think it is like the autumnal path um, or it's kind of made for autumn. Um, so I'm trying out the version that has mushrooms, red mushrooms and pumpkins in this lighter dirt variation. Just really, really gorgeous. Uh, the mushrooms and pumpkins really stand out and work so beautifully with these warm, rich uh, saffron uh, kind of red scarlet trees. I think they're super, super gorgeous. Then the creator made a darker version of the path. So I also wanted to show you this. I'm going to be trying out the variation that has purple mushrooms and uh, pumpkins just for kicks. But do look at all the variations that they've made if you like something but you want in a different, slightly different colorway. Um, so yeah. Oh, and this is an 11 slot path, but it does merge. The lighter one does work with the denim mori end caps. 
Now, here is how it looks. Really, really beautiful. I think the darker tone lends itself to a spookier island. Um, so if you're verging slightly away from the more natural, but to a kind of um, darker, eerier vibe, I think this is a great, great option. Um, the purple mushrooms are really cute as well. Now, this is another design that I did try out in my first video, but uh, is so, so perfect for fall. It's this dark gray path with these amazing mushroom details and pumpkins and flowers. And here's how it looks. Again, like a creepier, eerier vibe. I think, uh, yeah, any kind of witchy island, uh, but in an autumnal um, Halloween feel would be amazing for this. Uh, look at all the detail work with those big mushrooms. Hey Oz, <laughs> he blends in with this path. Um, and the pumpkins, those vines trailing off the pumpkins are also really, really beautiful. You see those purple flowers on the edges. Okay, so the next one we're trying out is another dirt path, but here we're edging into the spookier designs now. This one has bones and fossils everywhere and it's just like creepy and eerie uh anyways and the designer has made a ton of other amazing designs some that are equally creepy and some that are just beautiful so do check them out here is how it looks it looks amazing i could imagine this in any kind of eerie eerie horror, horror island or maybe one that was you know like jurassic park themed with tons of fossils around or um yeah, I don't know, but it's super cool. All the detailed design work is amazing um, and and creepy at the same time. <laughs> yeah, really, really intense and amazing. Okay, um, now avert your eyes if you're not into the creepy because this is the creepiest design I've seen. This eyeball path is freaky. It is Halloween. It is horror. It is like, you know, gross out in, in an amazing way so it's actually really beautiful but so creepy I don't quite know what island is perfect for this but there's got to be one and if you have one do let me know because I'd be so interested in touring it um, the eyeballs are really realistic and freak me out and uh, <laughs> and I'm just like so entranced by whoever decided to make this work for their island because it's just spectacular. Okay, now we're into some wild cards. These are, I thought they had a kind of spooky um, vibe to them and so wanted to include them in this Halloween autumn path roundup. So this is like a darker, eerier version of a fairy core path which I thought would work as we head into kind of the spooky season. Um, all the different details are almost like neon in tone and really pop out from the ground. Actually looking at it, I think this would work in a ton of different seasons. I could see it in spring and summer as well as winter. Um, and you know, like it almost looks alien-like. -like. It's like Avatar. This is, I get Avatar from this actually. Okay, and another spooky natural design is this black pond. So this is the creator of the fairy pond path and they've recolored it and redesigned it in this dark creepy uh, tone and here is how it looks. I think it looks amazing, really kind of spooky and eerie. Um, like I don't know what path is that, col what pond is that color, but like a witchy pond I reckon. Um, so yeah, the the yeah, the vibes are creepy. Um, and they've made a lot of extra center tiles. This is a nine slot design. Sorry, I should have said. And um, But they have lots of different center variations. So I would allocate at least 11 for this. And uh, yeah, like the previous one, kind of some like alien-like feels to this. Um, or, you know, swampy. Yeah, it's just really amazing um, and really detailed and like kind of eerie and creepy. And then while I was at it, I saw that the same designer had um, recolored in this kind of warmer green blue tone. Now this isn't really one of that I'm including officially in the fall Halloween autumn roundup, but um, 
just, it was so beautiful, I couldn't not show it. So this was their original Nameless Pond, which was this brighter, uh, almost cyan, teal colored pond. Um, and this is like, looks like Monet, you know? Um, and they did call it the Impressionist Pond. And I love the different color tones and all the variation there. It's super, super gorgeous. Again, like, disclaimer, this is not really fall or autumn. It's one for all seasons, um, but I just wanted to show it to you because it's just really, really so, so amazing. Okay, and my last wild card for you is this green grass path. So you wouldn't automatically think of green grass as autumnal, but because it has these warmer tones in the flowers and the grass is also warmer as well, I thought it would work really, really nicely against this mustard height of fall autumn grass, which I think it does. Like it, it is really harmonious with the warm mustard tone but it feels distinct and then actually earlier on in fall when your grass just starts turning that tinge of green it's sort of chartreuse i think this would work really really well with it as well so yeah wild card you know don't look don't sleep over the grass during autumn but you know it's it's a it's a real viable option so that's my roundup of over 20 different autumnal fall Halloween spooky paths. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you found one that you liked. And uh, if you did, please uh, comment down below which one you chose. Uh, like this video, subscribe for more, and I will see you next time. Happy fall, guys. Fall, guys. I'm not playing that game. It's too stressful. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys.